to a review on a Academy Wonder 48 MiG 29 AS Slovak Air Force. Uh, this kid here, it's picked it up, had it for a while now. Uh, what sold me was the digital camo scheme on this thing, and if you guys know me by now, I love my Russian aircraft. So have a quick look at this box. Box art's really, really nice, and um, yeah, so it's pretty much a standard, pretty much a standard um, things on the side. All the different languages. Uh, you got obviously says no cement included, no glue. Oh, that's a damn shame, isn't it? So, um, so if you yeah new to modelling, yeah don't expect glue in any of the kits you buy unless you're buying in one of those real pobo cheap fifty cent kits and it's got the nastiest paint, the nastiest glue that you get with it. So yeah, so it's best to get your own glue, guys. Um, yeah, so a bit of artwork on the side, what the kit actually looks like. So we're bringing in a bit. There you go. You got a rough idea what the kit actually looks like and. Um, yeah, blew me away when I see, saw the side of this thing. And yep, yeah, standard thing on the side again. And also on the side it says uh, decals, decals by by Cartograph. So we'll have a quick look in the box. Open sesame. Alright, so. Not too many sprues in here, but it's you know, it's a good um, good amount to to have in here. Well, you haven't got 50, 50 sprues in here. You've got one, two, three, five, and six, including your clear parts, and also the instruction sheet. Uh, pretty basic, you know, your color callouts. Um, it actually gives you all the different paints. Uh, you got Acuous Hobby Colors, you got Mr. Color, Life Colors, Humbrals, and then you've also got the Testers, uh, Model Master, Enamels and Acrylics. So, yeah, so you got a few few brands there. And you've got a big fold out um, one piece or one sheet instruction booklet. And pretty clear details. And you got your painting and decal placement, and you're not going to get too many um, variations of this thing because it is a uh, the digital the camo scheme on here. So that's what's inside the book, and you got all your safety warnings. Um, don't sniff glue. Don't drink paint. Um, don't stick the scissors in your eyes, and all those sort of things. Be safe. Be well, and you can see the decal sheet here is really, really nice, guys. Like it's really nice, um, very, very clearly um, laid out, so you can't really go wrong. And if I sort of flick this in the light, yeah, there's really not much overhang on the um, the decal film to the print itself. So you're going to have, as usual, by uh, cartograph you're going to have really really nice quality decals guys um, so and I do recommend when you're putting these you've, you've got to have some kind of decal setting solution um, what you use is up to you I'm not going to go and, go and tell you to use a certain brand whatever works for you guys is what you use so getting rid of this box and oops pull a drawer out so I've got somewhere to put all of my screws and getting out my trusty hobby knife which I don't have it's on my airbrush bench okay it's pretty good isn't it you do an unboxing and already prepared so we we'll give this a big slash and I'm gonna do this review anyway because I'm just about to finish a couple of builds and I'm gonna start on this so if I flick the light back down because I didn't want too much of the light reflecting on the box. So what we see here is we got all the missiles. I'm just gonna start with the missiles, I'll leave the fuselage and that till last. So um 
So you got all the missiles, they're one piece, which is really, really good. So which means um, you're not gonna really have a you're not gonna have any join lines when you glue these together. Um, actually pretty big fan of one piece missiles and ordnance. Um, you, there are some mold lines on here. There's really not too much flash at all. If I can, see, if I can't, well, if I can see any, it's very, very minor, guys. It's not going to have too much. It's just going to be one flick with the hobby knife or a mold reload, mold uh, removal tool, mold line removal tool, um, and then the parts going to be clean. So you got your your pylons here, which are, which are not too bad. There could be a bit more detail in this. Um, the pilot seat's pretty, pretty much how you're going. It's that's pretty basic. So if you want to add your own, um, make your own seat belts, you can. There's many ways of doing it using masking tape, tin foil, all sorts of things like that. Or if you really want to spend the money, get some get a photo wedge set for this. Uh, whether you can get one or not for this kit, that's a different story. Um, Dash panel, yeah, you got raised panel lines in here. It's that's also pretty much how you're going, but you know you take your time and um, you know you paint this thing up. You know you can get it looking fairly decent. The uh, leaning gear details is fairly nice, and these sprues are clearly marked, so you can't you can't really go wrong there either. So it's not it's not one of those. Guess, let me guess which sprue it is. Um, the cockpit part of the fuselage is fairly well detailed. Like it's, I mean, you'll remember this is an academy kit. It's, and I'm not saying they're bad either. Like the academy has really picked up their game over the last last couple of years, and their kits are really starting to become quite nice. And what I also have got to mention is that. Um, not like most other brands, the the sort of the packaging is it's a nice plastic bag, and it's um, heat crimped on the end, so there's no um, um, staples like some other brands where you can stab yourself with it, and you've only got it, the the sprues per bag is quite minimal, you know, two two sprues per bag, so. Um, yeah, so the nose cones in two halves, so that's going to be quite tricky. So, a bit of care is going to have to be taken when you um, cut and glue these parts together. And yeah, but I'm pretty happy looking at the detail. Like this camera's not the best for close up, so I'm gonna, I'm not going to um, try and zoom in too much. But you get you get the main idea that it's. There's a little bit of flash. Was that flash? Was that a was that a locating pin? There's a tiny bit of flash here. And tiny bit of flash, so yeah, but it's nothing, nothing major guys, so and then what have we got here? So we got all the dead intakes, we got all the wheels. So oops. We let me stab myself in the foot with a hobby knife. That's really smart. And then, so we've got two sprues for this bag. Um, so we go there. It looks like we've got external fuel tanks, I'd say. And we've got intakes. We've also got. Uh, that looks like. What is that? No idea what that is. Yeah, but we've got all these little probes. Um, looks like ordnance. Looks like a rocket pod, maybe. Uh, what do we got? Yeah, it looks like an external fuel tank, I'd say. Over there. But yeah, the recess, all the recess panel lines are, they're all even. Like there's, it doesn't really seem to shell off in some spots, you know, like some kits you get where it's really nice and deep. And it's, um, it shallows off, but having a closer inspection of the recess panel lines, they are quite sort of shallow, I guess, but they're even, if, if that makes any sense. 
So you're either going to have to rescribe all your panel lines or you're going to have to put your paint on quite thin just so you don't lose the detail. Um, you got the landing gear, I'd say these are landing gate landing landing gear bay doors, um, interior. So you've got some raised panel lines here. There's a few injector pin marks, which is a real pain in the butt. So you're gonna have to sand these out or fill these in with some kind of putty. Uh, you've also got the wheels, one piece wheels, big bonus, except for the rear wheels. So your front um, your front landing gear wheels are one piece, but your rears are um, two piece. And also you've got something that's written in Russian. I can't read Russian, but there is our raised panel lines here, or raised detail of writing, um, to writing of the um, well, you can't really pick it up, but there is raised writing on here for the um, brand of tyre, I'd say. And then you've got your front landing gear bay doors. Jet intakes seem quite nice. Actually, these are really, really nice. Like, okay. Like, basic, but nice, okay. So, yeah. That's obviously on the underneath of the um, cockpit fuselage part of the um, aircraft. And you got your landing gear details, in interior details, and that's on D sprue. So I don't know why that must be two part, a two part um, intakes, the jet exhausts. Very nice. And the final bag. Give this cut open. You got your clear parts separately bagged, which is a really, really nice touch. Um, no flash, no mold lines on here. And the, the glass looks really, really nice too. Not too much distortion in this, so. Yeah, so you can see there. I won't, I'll leave this in the bag, guys. I don't. Yeah, like I'm not going to take this out because I don't want this thing scratched up because it's probably going to be a little bit until I build this, maybe a couple of weeks, so don't want this floating around, rattling around inside the box. So, yeah, so that's it there. Then you've got two sprues this bag, so three sprues in this bag, including clear parts. Uh, you got the top of the fuselage, and you got the bottom, you got the... What are they? That would be your your tail. And your rudder section and ailerons. Yeah, so details. Um, well, there are rivets. What are the rivets here? Raised or recessed? They're raised rivets. And most of your holes are pre drilled, so you don't have to pre drill anything to fit your parts. And very nice detail in here, so that's going to take a wash really well. That's just heavily riveted inside here. Don't know if it picks it up. Just sort of flick it around. Hopefully, the light you may pick it up. Probably there. Um, what else can I say about this? Well, you can see all the injector pin marks. They're just everywhere on here, so they really. You got your work cut out for you. You're really gonna have to have some work to um, sand these back. <coughs> and prime example, you've got an injector pin mark right there within there. So that's gonna be an absolute bugger to try and get rid of without destroying the detail in there. But other than that, no real flash. I mean, like there is flash. So if I can just get an example. Of here, there's a bit of flash on the sprue there, so all it takes is to get your finger and then just rub it off, and then the flash is gone. So that's how minor the flash is on this kit. Um, you've got your main wings on here as well, and then you get your sides for your um, air intakes. And, and you've even got you know, hydraulics detail on here. So you see there, excuse the pain on my fingers, can't really painting at the moment as well, so um, we got that's on C sprue. 
Yeah, but the detail's quite nice, guys. And pretty much, so how this kit goes together, I have no idea. I haven't seen any reviews on YouTube as yet on this kit. Um, more or less, I'm just too lazy to look for it. Um, so, yeah, so that's the review, guys. Um, you will see, you will see this being built probably in the next month, um, which is why I'm doing this review. Um, hope you enjoy it, and um, yeah, leave your feedback. Don't forget to subscribe, like. Also, if you want to see the photos of this, when I do start building this, go to Outback Mini Miles on Facebook, and um, you will see uh, HD photos um, uploaded on the channel as well. So, Clem signing out from Outback Mini Models, and I'll see you next time. See you guys. Catch you later.